What's up, gamers? This is that PlayStation Gamer. Yes, I am coming at you guys with a very new video. Actually, kind of a three-part series where we're going to talk about each of the big console makers and why I, you know, my overall thoughts on each of these companies. So first off, we're going to talk about my brand, Sony, PlayStation, more, you know, obviously. Um, I have inherent bias with Sony. I mean, I think I a little bit of the title. I'm a, it's kind of obvious. But I will admit, Sony has kind of lost their way. Now, what I mean lost their way, I mean, is they're not taking as much risk as the other big three are. Microsoft especially is taking a lot of risk these days. Sony has very much found the formula that works for them. They found these story-driven type of games that work for people. And I'm going to be real, that, that's, my, that's my thing. That's my thing right there. But... I do kind of miss the risk take taken days. I miss the first person shears. I miss freaking resistance and kill zone. And I do hope at some point we do hear some news about kill zone or yeah, resistance remake. You know, just because it'd be something different. And I do think Sony does have something along the lines for a multiplayer game. It seems like they have something going on. But as far as right now goes, they're not really into the risk taking business. Now, I will say there has been a couple games during the PS4 slash the start of this PS5 generation where they are taking risk. You know, games like Dreams. It's Dreams is very hard to talk about because there's no inherent game with it. It's a tool people use to make games with. So, I think that's good. I think it's good for Sony to have something like that or the Medieval remake, which is a very by the formulas remake, but it was done because the fans wanted it. And there, I think it's also kind of nice, because, you know, i got to mention this, Returnal. You know, it's a game that's, you know, a bullet hell game. And not everyone likes those type of games, but Sony was willing to take the risk, say, hey, you know what, maybe this isn't for everyone, maybe not everyone's going to like this, but we believe in the vision. You know, I do think Sony is trying to find that, you know, jam of theirs now. Not just outside of, you know, the storytelling games, but something a little different. Something that has a storytelling edge, but at the same time has its own interest. It isn't, a, as some people will say, a Last of Us clone. And let's get into that. The Last of Us, my favorite video game franchise of all time. It's probably also the bit of most influential video game franchise for Sony because it's, I, from what I believe, it's probably one of the most successful games. And I see why, because it's, again, I admit this right now. I'm a Last of Us fanboy. I, I got the Last of Us comics. You guys see the shit in the background. I can't pretend I'm not a fucking Last of Us fan. I can't pretend I'm not biased. I can't pretend I don't love Night Dog. I Night Dog's type of games. But I understand my taste is also not everyone else's. And that's fine. I don't want everyone to have my same taste. And that's why I kind of worry about with Sony is that they're trying to get people, you know embedded into this certain demographic and that's a problem because i want people to have different tastes i want people to have a playstation and xbox and nintendo and enjoy all the games they want to play but sony seems like they're very much trying to get people like into a certain mindset and that's a problem so where would i like to see sony go well like i said i would like to see them take a little bit more risk i like to see them find you know find games that aren't part of their you know, type of games they make. You know, I'm talking about the cinematic type of games and do something, you know, different. And it does feel like they're doing that. It's just we're not seeing it right now. It's just Sony's... They're trying to find the perfect DNA for them. They used to, like, copy Nintendo a lot. And I, it's like, it's like I hear people legitimately saying they want a PlayStation All-Stars 2... But wasn't that game, like, you know, chalked up as a Smash Brothers clone? But now, because there's so many Smash Brothers clones literally coming out, you know, the Nickelodeon game and the freaking Marvel, uh, not sorry, Marvel Multiverse, uh, DC, you know, HBO, Warner Brothers Multiverse stuff. I think actually it would be the perfect time for Sony, but like, hey, you know what? PlayStation All Stars 2. Why the hell not? But yeah, just, I don't think there's much they could do that would make me happy outside. Bring back some old franchises, hey, Sly Cooper, he needs, a, he needs a new game, maybe some Twisted Metal, and I don't know, go crazy, bring back Blasto, no, that's, that's a pipe dream that'll never happen, and thank God for that, 
but maybe a resistance, you know, after Wolverine, let, uh, let Insomniac make that resistance remake. Come on, they're always seeming to be hinting they want to do something with it. But what do you guys think? Do you think PlayStation's good? Do you think they're doing fine? Or do you think they need to change the course and try different things like I do, but at the same time kind of still see... See, this is why I feel weird, because like, I, 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 I can't really be unbiased here, because I'm happy with what they're doing. I just wish they would take a little bit more risk. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, without YouTube, I grow BS. Until next time, guys, it's that PlayStation Gamer sign out. Really hoping for a Focus Light Cooper remake. Come on, Sony. Peace out. Have a good day.